You, sir, are my enemy. I'm not your enemy. And I, yes, you, and you are. Know I'm not. Yes, you, you are. Know I'm not. If you think yeah. that because we're Christians and I'm holding this cross, okay. that you can come here, you can lie in our faces, lie. and that you can attack our people, attack you? then you let your people know that us Christians are not to be messed with, and you pick the wrong fight. Now I suggest you go. Why do you hate us? Is it because we have beards? Didn't Jesus, according to your belief, and the greatest men in history, had beards? Is it because we pray differently? Didn't Jesus and Moses and Abraham pray the same way in your scripture? Is it because we believe in Sharia law? But Sharia means a law, and Jesus believed in a law, according to Matthew 5.17. Come on, it's just a shake of the hand. I just don't want it. But why don't you want to shake my hand? Oh, is it because we don't shake women's hands? Didn't your Bible outload that in the first of Corinthians verse 7? It is not good for a man to touch a woman. Point out to me, yeah. where are the Sikh grooming gangs? Where are the Hindu? Oh, I see. Because we are terrorists. See, being evil is a human nature. And terrorist groups exist in all religious groups, not just in Islam. Why you haven't heard about these groups? Sorry, because the media is not on our side. So, why do you hate us? Is it because most people being killed are from Muslim groups? Well, that's not true either. According to a recent FBI report, 94% of all terrorist acts are not done by Muslims. Then why do you hate us? My issue is this. Can you show me a single verse in the Quran, the Hadith, the Islamic literature, where it says, go and kill innocent people? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear it? Yeah. I will cast terror into the hearts of the disbelievers. Go to Surah 5. Go to Surah 8. Go to Surah 12. They're in there. Don't come in. Oh, you might say your Quran teaches hate and killing. Well, in the Quran, all the killing verses are directed toward competent disbelievers who are unjust doers or transgressors, and this is, exists in all holy scriptures. As a matter of fact, our religion teaches us to not to hurt animals nor trees, so Islam highly cherish innocent souls. Yet in Islam and all world religions, you will find terrorist groups that take verse out of their holy scriptures to justify the horrific acts, just like you did. Every single one of the non-Muslims here are combatant and you can rely on that, sir. You can rely on, sir, are my enemy. I'm not your enemy. And I, yes, you, you know are. I'm not. Yes, you, you are. Know I'm not. You know I'm what not Jesus enemy. said? Jesus Christ said. Come with a sword. I come to turn mother against son, to against father against son, mother against son-in-law. Why do you hate us? You need to accept yeah. Jesus into okay. your heart. I really you need to that. turn no, no, away no, no, you don't. from That's this barbarism. Because we don't accept Jesus? First, we already do accept Jesus, not as a God, but as a mighty prophet. A Muslim is not a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus. The mother of Jesus is the most honorable woman in Islam. Then why do you hate us? Is it because the way our women dress? Yet, the same way the nun dress, the same way the mother of Jesus dressed, and the way women used to dress a hundred years ago. Is it because the way our men dressed? Yet, it was discovered that Jesus dressed like us. Islam is a religion of tolerance. We believe that Islam is the religion of all the prophets, Jesus, Moses, and Abraham, and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon them. When Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him came, he came not to invent a new religion, but to reaffirm what previous prophets came before him. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him came to resolve the dispute of the people that followed him, and not to create a new dispute. If you have a question about Islam, ask a Muslim.